The Papua New Guinea national rugby league team represents Papua New Guinea in the sport of rugby league football. In Papua New Guinea, rugby league is a highly popular sport and is regarded as the country's national sport. The national side are known as the Kumuls, birds of paradise, in Tok Pisin. Topic: History. Rugby league in Papua New Guinea was first played in the late 40s. It was introduced to the nation by Australian soldiers stationed there during and after the Second World War. Papua New Guinea were admitted to the Games International Federation in 1974. On the 6th of July 1975, at Lloyd Robson Oval in Port Moresby, the Kumuls played their first ever international. They were beaten 40 to 12 by England. The English team were en route to Australia and New Zealand to fulfil away fixtures during the 1975 World Cup. They first entered the Rugby League World Cup for the 1985-89 competition, though it was not until 2000 that they won away from home. In 1987 the Kumuls staged their first full test playing tour of Britain, after playing BARLA opposition in 1979. They lost the test 42-0 at Central Park, Wigan. On Tuesday, 20 October 1987, Cumbria met Papua New Guinea before a crowd of 3,750 at the recreation ground, Whitehaven. Cumbria won 22-4. Four days later Papua New Guinea played a World Cup-rated test against Great Britain. During the 1988 Great Britain Lions Tour of Australasia a test match was played at Port Moresby. Later that year Papua New Guinea played a World Cup match against Australia in Wagga Wagga, the Kangaroos recording a then international record winning margin of 62 points with a 70-8 win. Australian winger Michael O'Connor crossed for four tries and kicked seven goals for a personal points haul of 30, which could have been 44 had he not missed seven kicks at goal. In 1991 Papua New Guinea played host to a touring Great Britain, the series ended in a 1-1 draw. On Sunday, 27 October 1991, Papua New Guinea met Wales at Vetch Field, Swansea. Roared on by a fervent crowd of 11,422, Wales won by a record 68-0 margin, scoring 13 tries. Papua New Guinea never recovered and lost all five matches in Britain, conceding 232 points in the process, and won only one of their four matches in France. Papua New Guinea wound up their 1991 tour of Europe with a World Cup rated test match against France, which was played on Sunday 24 November at the Stade Albert de Mec, Carcassonne. Despite Papua New Guinea leading 8-4 at half-time, France defeated their visitors 28-14. The Kumuls hosted Australia for a two-test series in October 1991 won 2-0 by the Kangaroos, and also hosted Great Britain during the 1992 Lions Tour of Australasia. Papua New Guinea travelled to England to compete in the 1995 World Cup under coach Joe Tokum and captain Adrian Lamb. In their group was Tonga and New Zealand, against whom they failed to win a match. In 1996 Bob Bennett, brother of the famous Wayne Bennett, was appointed the Kumuls coach. Also, in 1996, Adrian Lamb captained the Papua New Guinea National Rugby League team against the Australian Kangaroos 52-6 win to Australia. Bob Bennett coached the 2000 World Cup Kumuls team to the qualification to the pool where the Kumuls made it into the top four teams in the world so the 2000 World Cup Kumuls team was rated the best Kumuls team. They were granted automatic qualification to the 2008 World Cup but were placed in a pool with the top three teams, Australia, New Zealand and England, and failed to win a match in the tournament. Topic. 2010 controversy The Papua New Guinea team experienced huge difficulties leading to the 2010 Rugby League Four Nations Tournament, as politicians clashed for control over the game and the governing body, the PNGRFL, was split over issues concerning junior development, the national team and the Papua New Guinea NRL bid. This caused Adrian Lamb to retire as head coach of the Kumuls in September 2010 while recently retired captain Stanley Jean, who had never coached a side before, was named his replacement. The governing board were adamant that more Papua New Guinea-based players should be in the squad, and fewer Australia-based players should be picked. 
In early October the squad was announced for the tournament and consisted of 12 PNG-based players with captain Paul Aiton being the only NRL player. Whilst the Australian team for the tournament was worth an estimated $10 million, local newspapers calculated the Kumuls' value at around $670,000. Despite the Australian media treating the defeat of the Papua New Guinean team as a mere formality, with the team having odds of 125 to 1 to win the tournament, the players and journalists at home were positive that the Kumuls could make a lasting impression in the tournament. After their first up 42 0 defeat against Australia, the team's enthusiasm and crunching tackles were praised, but ball control and creativity let the team down hugely. However the team faced much more criticism after their 76-12 thrashing suffered at the hands of New Zealand, with fans angry at the poor display from the players and some questioning the credentials of new coach Stanley Jean. Days after the match a broader look at the sport in the country occurred with one assessment concluding that rugby league was poorly managed and former PNG great Marcus Bai called on clubs to supply a greater number of representative standard players especially from the New Guinea Islands region which had supplied five of this year's team. The way politics had made its way into the governing of the sport was also condemned. Topic: 2015 Pacific Rugby League Test. In May 2015, Papua New Guinea took on Fiji in the 2015 Melanesian Cup at CBU's Super Stadium. The international was part of a triple header which also included the Polynesian Cup, between Samoa and Tonga, and the Junior Kangaroos against the Junior Kiwis. The Kumuls never really troubled the Fijians after handling errors and poor decisions led to the Batty easily winning the inaugural Melanesian Cup by 22-10. <laughs> In May 2016, Papua New Guinea took on Fiji in the 2016 Melanesian Cup at Pertec Stadium. The international was part of a triple header which also included the Polynesian Cup, between Samoa and Tonga, and the Junior Kangaroos against the Junior Kiwis. In this year's test, the Kumuls had more experienced players and it paid off. Despite being in a similar situation with the half-time score, they managed to make a miraculous comeback not many saw coming, to record their first win 24-22 on away shores since the 2000 World Cup. <laughs> 2017 Pacific Rugby League Test The PNG Kumuls won their second consecutive Pacific Cup Test victory with a 32-22 victory over the Cook Islands at Campbelltown Stadium in Sydney, Australia. 2018 Pacific Rugby League Test The PNG Kumuls won their third consecutive Ox and Palm Pacific Cup Test victory with a 26-14 victory over Fiji Batty at Campbelltown Stadium in Sydney, Australia. 2018, current squad The Papua New Guinean squad for Game 2 vs England Knights on 3 November 2018. Age, caps, PTS, and club are as of 5 November 2018, after the match. Notable players Marcus Bai Ingala Lapan, Aquila Emil, Kungas Kuveu, Darius Haley, Alan Rero, Stanley Jean, David Mead, John Wilshire, James Segayaro, David Buco, Kurt Baptiste, Reese Martin, Elias Pio, Nene McDonald, Ray Thompson, Willie Minoga Rod Griffin Paul Aitone Wellington Albert Justin Olam Cato Atio Neville Costigan Topic Tournament History Topic World Cup Topic Tri Nations, Four Nations
Topic: Pacific Cup. Topic: Past results. Topic: Other Papua New Guinean teams. PNG Prime Minister's 13 – development side to consist of local-based players and only three international players, used to play both national and development sides. PNG President 13 – PNG RFL select, usually playing another development side like Junior Kangaroos or New Zealand A rarely used to play national sides. PNG Residents Papua New Guinea development side made up of solely local players. Regularly playing matches with the Junior Kangaroos, New Zealand Mayoris and even national sides. Papua New Guinea Kunduz, Papua New Guinea Junior U, 18 schoolboys side, recently played QLD U18 as a curtain raiser to Origin I the QLD U, 18 def. Kunduz 20-16. The team is captained by Wayne Bond. Topic. Participated tournaments. Rugby League World Cup Rugby League Four Nations 2010 tournament Pacific Cup World Sevens Super League World Nines 1996, 1997 Rugby League Nines at the 2015 Pacific Games Cabramatta International Nines See also Rugby League in Papua New Guinea World Cup